Hello friends, in this video I am going to write a C program to print hollow inverted pyramid triangle star pattern. So I am using dev C++ uh, compiler. So because of that I have to, uh, uh, please make sure that you have to uh, mention return type as int before the main function. So that's why I am returning here zero value, right? So in this program, firstly I will write the program, and then after I will print and make you uh, and um, uh, show you the output of hollow inverted pyramid triangle star pattern, and then after I will let you know the logic behind this. So let's start. Int firstly I have to initialize, uh, declare some values, variables, i, j, and rows, right? And then after for taking the input from the user enter number of rows then I have to scan scan f percent d m percent rows then after I have to do the iteration for i equal to 1 i less than equal to rows and I plus plus and inside of it I have to write another loop J equal to 1 and J less than I and J plus plus and then printf space right and then again we have another loop j equal to 1 j less than equal to here is the important formula rows into 2 minus 2 into i minus 1 and then j plus plus and inside of it we have again another condition if i equal to equal to 1 or j equal to equal to 1 j equal to equal to 1 or j equal to equal to rows into 2 minus 2 into i minus 1 then we have to print star otherwise we have to print space and once the whole iteration is finished then for going to the next row we have to print here backslash n for going to the next line so this is the whole program that we have written here so now let's see the output for example I have given the input 8 so finally we got the output which is inverted hollow pyramid triangle star pattern right so let me close this and again I am going to run sorry I have to close this and then actually I wanted to make you sure that how I have printed actually so firstly I have declared some variables and I have also taken the input from the users user uh, in the variable rows right and the first loop is uh, only counting the number of rows so this is going to do the iteration from i equal to 1 to i less than equal to rows and this will complete the whole uh, number of rows which we will iterate right and inside of it we have loops which are going to manage number of columns and in that in those columns we have stars as well as spaces so the first loop is managing the spaces which are before this uh, star pattern these are the spaces right and the another loop is going to manage the stars 
as well as the spaces inside of this uh, inverted pyramid hollow pyramid right so for the first time you can say that i equal to one so this is the row one and because of that for example for j equal to one j less than i what does it mean one one less than one this is wrong so for the first time we will we need not print any space in the first row that's why the condition is wrong here and then after we come to the next loop and j equal to one j less than equal to rows into two what does it mean total number of rows are eight eight into two sixteen so sixteen minus two into one minus one ultimately this is one so sixteen minus one equal to fifteen so this loop will uh, uh, executed will be executed 15 times right and inside of it uh, we have i equal to 1 so of course 1 equal to 1 so the star would be printed so throughout this iteration the uh, complete row would be filled with the star because i is always equal to 1 because i is right now 1 so in the next iteration i would be 2 and because of that this uh, loop would be executed for one time only because uh, one less than two so j equal to one so because of that one space would be inserted here and then after again j equal to one j less than equal to this is already uh, 16 minus 2 into 2 minus 1 because i is no now 2 so this is 3 so you can say that 15 16 minus 3 equal to 13 so it means that this uh, loop would be executed for thin th 13 times and in that situation i equal to equal to 1 this is wrong because i is now 2 and j equal to equal to 1 yes so that's why we could able to print the star and then again this condition would not be uh, full yes the first this condition is fulfilled then uh, we have to print and again for the next iteration j equal to 2 2 is less than 13 so again 2 is not equal to 1 and 1 is not equal 2 is not equal to 1 and again we will see that 2 is not equal to and this is 16 minus 3 equal to 13 so this is also wrong so only uh, for one time we could able to print the star and then after at the end once the j equal to equal to row uh, 13 means when the value of j equal to 13 then this would this would be uh, true as well as this condition would be, would be true right because j would be equal to uh, this 13 uh, value 13 so because of that we could able to print the star at the end so in this way we could ultimately uh, able to print the stars so this condition j equal to 1 is always uh, for printing a star at the beginning and this condition is always for the end and first condition is always used for the uh, first row only uh, otherwise the spaces would be printed so this is how the logic is going to uh, run right so you should also do this program into your own system so that you could better understand the whole process and even this program is really easy if you will uh, come to this uh, formula and uh, come to this uh, if condition you will ultimately understand it uh, in a very easier way so i think you understood this uh, program because this is really simple as well so that's it thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead